Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA has kept footies alive with this Team 4 and especially all the footies content that they have been dropping over the past couple of days in this game. Great SBCs with a good gameplay grind with the draft and actually more XP coming today to assist with that grind. There's actually a really crazy phenomenon going on with the market right now as well after yesterday's content we're gonna break it all down and talk about it in today's video and look forward to what sunday might bring us on fever 23 if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it subscribe if you're new you know what to do let's drop into the objective section actually there was nothing in objectives yesterday yesterday on saturday as they normally are a little bit quieter right we did have an SBC that we were expecting though i guess there was some activity in objectives you got some xp if you did the um, lone version of Jabi Alonzo. Once again, another cover star icon and another juiced card. They're really going all out with these, which I'm happy to see, right? All above 93 stats on Jabi Alonzo. 93 pace being the lowest stat in his card with 98 passing, 95 dribbling and defense. Five star, five star, medium high. What a card. Definitely an insane midfielder. He can only play in those midfield positions, center defensive mid and center mid um and i think this sbc is really nice especially if you're somebody if you have an affinity for jobby lonzo if you're a fan of him as a player it is a really really insane card to get i mean 92 percent upvote on footbin people really like these end game icon player sbcs now the price of this one 670k is <laughs> it's really steep i don't know if i'm going to be doing this sbc to be completely honest just because that is a steep price tag but at least as you see 92 percent of people are are pretty interested in this one so they're not that against the price tag i mean it is a healthy amount of craft that you have to do eight squads so really it's only like five squads because all of these first three are pretty easy to get done 87 88 89 90 90 so not bad it's 600k but it's actually a lot easier than that kind of the same thing with Roberto Carlos so I got nothing wrong with that SBC the only thing for me that I'm not I'm probably not going to do that one is we just had the Marcus Urente and I think this Urente would go into my team before that job Alonso would but regardless of the situation that job Alonso is an amazing amazing card to have and of course make sure you do the loan to get the XP now the other SBC that was dropped yesterday the first of those two times 100 packs, we had the 83 times 100 and the 82 times 100. Both in the code, we finally saw the first one. 82 times 100. You have to turn in 85, 86, 87, 88, and an 89 rated squad for 100 players rated 82 or above. And that is coming in at a whopping 411,000 coins. This is a fun SBC, and that is. Basically all that it is, guys, in my opinion, because for 400,000 coins, yes, you can look at this and say, Nate, it's only five squads. That means you're turning in 55 players to get 100 back. That's decent value, right? Well, if you think about it, you're turning in 85 squads and above to 89. You're probably not getting the fodder out of this that you're actually turning in. Yes, you might be getting more players, but there's going to be a lot of 82s, 83s, 84s. I would have to imagine that basically half of this pack is made up of 83s, 82s, 83s, and 84s. Now, we can only do this SBC once, so it's also kind of a novelty, right? It's kind of just a one-off one fun thing to do. I'm tempted to do it just because it's 100 players, but let me put it into perspective, right? This SBC, without crafting, we just saw the price, 411,000 coins. That is 100 players rated 82 or above. If you go to the store and you take a look at the 400,000 coin pack, so the exact same price for the Super Ultimate pack, yes, it's not 82 plus, but you get 250 rare gold players instead of only 100. This is also 400,000 coins. You get a really good chance of packing footies cards, as you do, of course, in the 82 times 100. But, I mean, man, I think I would rather have 250 rare gold items that I could craft into player picks and other sorts of SBCs like the team of the season, team of the week trade. We'll do that 400k pack method, which we're going to talk about today. I think I'd rather do that than do this SBC uh, for 400,000 coins worth of value for only 100 players. But it's kind of one that is an endgame SBC that just seems fun and crazy to do because it's 100 players inside of an SBC pack. So if you want to try to craft that one, it is fun. But honestly, for me, it's not the best value gamble. I mean, I'm going to look at this from a value standpoint once again. For 400,000 coins, you could end up getting uh, 385 times 10s done. 
from the upgrade SBC, the daily refresh, all three of the 85 times tens you could do. Uh, that's about 300,000 coins to complete three of these. And then you could also do a 90 plus uh, tots, shapeshifters, or footies player pick and get potentially a really high end player footies maybe a really great TOTS card or shapeshifters from that. If you're looking for kind of a comparable way to look at the SBC values and where to put your fodder right now, because let's be honest, right? Fodder can be put in so many different packs and SBCs right now in this game. You just kind of have to decide, am I trying to get good fodder out of the SBCs that I'm doing, like an 85 times 10? Or am I going for the gamble and trying to pack footies cards, whereas you would get those out of the 90 plus, the 93 plus for footies team one, two, and three. And then, you know, even an 84 times 30, I still don't know if I'd recommend that one. That's actually going away today. So maybe something to refresh with this today. Imagine they dropped the 82 times 100 and the 83 times 100, like in back-to-back -back days. I don't expect that. That'd be absolutely crazy. But, I mean, 82 times 100, just to wrap it up, fun SBC, a bit expensive, probably not the best for fodder. But if you're trying to chase those top-tier footies players it is another chance to go ahead and do that now speaking of the store where we just were there's a lot of the market that's being impacted right now by a crazy phenomenon that has kind of swept over the community lately called the 400k pack method and it's all based around this 400k pack right the other 400k packs they're garbage compared to this one the 250 players pack a lot of people are opening this with coins because with all the SBCs that are available that are right now that you can put those uh, gold players that you get from this SBC into, you can actually make some of your coins back tradable. So you can do this SBC for 400K, or sorry, you can buy this store pack for 400K, rinse your cards into other SBCs, get tradable stuff back, and it lowers the price literally. It gives you some coins back, and then you have so much other fodder to work with, right? This is actually impacting the market right now. The 400K pack method got really, really popular last week when Team of the Week cards and Team of the Seasons were very expensive. When Team of the Seasons were like 40,000 coins, right now they're about 35, 36,000 coins. And Team of the Weeks, I believe, uh, last week at the time this uh, method got popular, were like also 35,000 coins apiece. And yesterday, when the 400K pack came back to the store, informs and team of the season prices dropped off a ton because people were very excited to go back out and to do this method to get all those gold players and then craft into those tradable team of the week and team of the season SBCs to get some coins back. And this is very obvious. If you take a look at inform prices yesterday, when this pack dropped, um, informs were like 28, I think thousand coins per card, 28,000 coins per card yesterday. They went all the way to 22, 23k where they are now all because of that of that pack right it's really it's because of that pack in the store guys because people open that pack with coins then they go back to the game in sbcs and they go craft the tradable team of the week and team of the season pack it's also maybe a little bit because jobby alonzo and the 82 times 10 only require i think like one or two team of the weeks or team of the seasons jobby alonzo requires in the 89 Okay, it requires three in the 89, 89, and 90 rated squads, but also you could use a foot champs player in there as well. So there's not as much demand for the team of the week cards because there wasn't like a player pick released yesterday on Saturday like there was on Friday where we saw team of the week cards and team of the seasons go up a lot. All that supply is hitting from those team of the week and team of the season SBCs that a lot of people were doing for the 400k pack method, which is crazy. It's, it's supplying these cards on the market a ton. And that is why the prices have gone down. Now, there's another thing today that's going to probably supply these cards a little bit more as well. Um, and it's kind of crazy how a phenomenon like this and how the hype around potentially making some coins back from opening a store pack while also having a chance at packing footies cards and some of the best team of the years that are in the best of batch. It's crazy how that is impacting the market that much at this stage of the year. But honestly, whenever there's a store pack that is like halfway worth it to buy for coins to because you get some coins back and then you just get a bunch of fodder in general, a lot of people are going to end up doing it. Now, the 400k pack method, honestly, with informs being 23k and team of the seasons being 35k, it's not the best method. I'll be completely honest. I don't know if I'm going to open any 400k packs this week. You're going to make some coins back from it. But it's not going to be a lot unless you get lucky with the team of the week or most likely get lucky with the team of the season pack pull doing those SBCs. But you do get a lot of fodder back. I still think that's the best SBC or sorry, I keep saying SBC. That's the best pack to open in the store to then go and craft into SBCs because you get so much fodder. 
but I don't think I would expect him to make over 150,000 coins back or even 100,000 coins back from that just with how the, the pr prices of the fodder are on this game, especially if you hit a TOTS moments instead of a team of the season. Those cards are like 22K, 23K or even cheaper than that. Whereas team of the seasons are required for SBCs. So they're a little bit more. Now that's kind of the 400K pack method that's been shaking up the market a lot as we saw there on those graphs. Now today as well, squad battle rewards, which I think I even have some squad battle rewards from last week, which I should probably claim, but I barely played any games. A lot of people have been playing squad battles, right? To get the objectives done that are all surrounding the footies players and XP and stuff like that. And today's squad battle rewards get paid out again, which is probably going to bring some more supply for team of the seasons, especially and team of the week cards and fodder in general on the market. I do expect fodder to dip in the early hours of today, guys, for sure. It happened last week with team of the seasons, like pretty drastically. I think last week, team of the seasons went from like 30, I think they were actually like 33 or 34,000 coins. And then went all the way down to 30, Hey, keep an eye on Team of the Season cards today. Um, I would think there could be a potential investment opportunity for just a flip or if you're buying these cards and listing them for lazies and so many people are doing SBCs right now, that is a pretty good trading method with Team of the Weeks and Team of the Seasons. That could be a place in the market that you would want to watch today. And then also with the gold fodder cards as well, right? This was what we talked about in yesterday's video, buying some of these cards. A lot of these went up, right? Last night we had 86s that were like 6,000 coins. Look at the spike. Chesney was 9K yesterday at content. That is crazy how high he went with all the other SBCs that we have out, not even just the content that was released yesterday, but probably that 82 times 100 is garnering a lot of hype just because it's a crazy pack, right? Now these cards are back down 7,000 coins, but they're not as low as they were. If these 86s, if the 85s, the 84s go to the prices that they were, almost 85s are actually not that far off of the price that they were last night. They were in the low 4K range. These guys were all at almost 6,000 coins. Costage right now shows at 4.3K. Maybe squad battle rewards today is a decent opportunity to stock a few more of these in your club. Uh, because again, this is the part of the fodder market that moves the most at the moment and this would be the part of, part of the fodder market that i'd be investing in once again if you guys made coins off of like the 85s 86s yesterday they could go up again like they did yesterday not just today but throughout the rest of the week so i would definitely keep an eye out on that and then of course team of the week and team of the season cards might be a decent time to stock up on some of those same thing with some of the footies cards as well um i think last week too you had some cards on sunday that dipped down pretty low in price on that kind of squad battle rewards time frame I'm looking at Alaba right now, who last night was like 900K, and right now he's 640,000 coins. Or Mbappe, who's actually on the market now, who is extinct at 15 mil. Wow, now he's 11 million coins, right? So he's on the market now. Lucio um, is like 1.7 mil, and he was 2.1 or something like that yesterday. So a lot of these cards um, have dipped down in value if we're talking about the... Team four of footies and, you know, squad battle rewards could impact that again today. And these cards will probably get decently low today at some point on Sunday. Dean Natale is about to go. He is under a million coins. That's the lowest that I have seen him. Oblock's like 140K. He's down a good amount. So watch out and be careful with those team four cards. There's probably going to be some of the normal drops today, but could fluctuate a bit with some of those squad battle rewards and that extra supply coming in. Now let's talk about Sunday content. It's a lot about the market, a lot about what happened yesterday. Let's talk about today on Sunday. First thing I want to talk about is we still have one unknown release of a cover star icon. Where and when is this Rui Costa going to get dropped? We're not sure. We do know about Shevchenko, right? Shevchenko is the only other guaranteed card that is, again, kind of like in objective. So it's like leaked by EA. It's kind of like a tease for an SBC. It's going to be coming on Tuesday for Shevchenko. For this Rui Costa, he's leaked, but we don't even know when he's going to come out. We don't know if he's an objective. We don't know if he's an SBC. Um, so could it be today? Maybe is EA just going to go all out and drop three cover star icons back to back to back days to start off this week of footies? That'd be awesome. Why not? Who says no? If they do it, great. If they don't, I would expect to see some other sort of footies player today, right? The Saturdays and Sundays almost always bring player SBCs. Um, I'd be surprised if we didn't have anything today in terms of a player SBC. Of course, we had your Rente on Friday 
And uh, then yesterday on Saturday, all we had was the Jabi Alonso. So potentially someone coming today as a player. Don't know that. Maybe you see a leak today. Maybe Sheriff or one of the other leakers on Twitter post something before content. So watch out for that. And then upgrade packs, like we said, uh, a couple SPCs are expiring today. The 84 times 30 is going away. And also the 90 plus icon player pick. Hopefully this icon player pick is not going to return. All right. I'd be fine if this did not return. I'd be fine if it was gone. EA bring back the 92 plus or bring back a 92 plus icon player pick that only contains team of the year trophy titans and shapeshifters those newest of the icons that would be great up that rating a bit but to be honest a 92 plus icon player pick even if it just continues or contains those different icons I mean it isn't that expensive of an SBC most likely that would be coming today but these icon player picks just kind of seem behind, man. I would rather open a 93 plus or even a 90 plus Tots, Shapeshifter, or Footies player pick almost before opening one of those just because I have a chance at packing Footies and Shapeshifters instead of like some icons that at least Shapeshifter icons, if you hit one of those, W. But I don't know, man. It feels like we're at the point of the year where the icon SBCs for the upgrades are really falling behind in terms of hype compared to the other Footies and stuff like that. Uh, SBCs that we have out in this game right now. But that could make some fodder move because as we know, people in this game, I mean, icons are fun. We always love an icon gamble SBC. So hopefully there is something to replace that today. And maybe the 8430 refreshes. Maybe it doesn't. Not really sure what's going to happen with that today as well. Um, we'll have to keep our eyes out for that. But that's why another reason to watch fodder, all these SBCs, man. If they drop more, they're going to keep moving. Those fodder prices for sure. And the last thing for today, maybe one of the most important things, footies, uh, XP, home of XP week two, or I guess objective two, it's going to be coming out today on Sunday. If you did the world of football kit, if you bought that from the store, we're finally going to get the second batch of 1500 XP that will unlock today at content time. Of course, um, the home of XP was the very first one, right? You had to buy the kit from the store, 50K or whatever it was. And now uh, you're, we're, we're going to be able to get that second set of 1500 XP to progress and whatever ever level you are right now in this season. So that's kind of the content for today. What pack did I just get? I just got something in the store. Premium loan roll. Oh, that's wow. War squad battle rewards for me. Bronze three, a loan pack. I absolutely love it. Um, but that's kind of the content for today, guys. Hopefully EA surprise us. Give us a good SBC for a player. We would all love that. And uh, yeah, the market's a very interesting place right now. If you're still trading, if you need fodder, stock up a little bit on it. And um, yeah, EA, surprises today. Give us something nice. That's what we keep saying, but they've been delivering, honestly. That Jobby Lonzo was sick. The player SBCs recently have been really, really sick. So that's why I want to get into fodder because if they're dropping good SBCs, that's going to make fodder keep going up. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Accountant. Peace.